The play with my teeth uh, started when I was child in Yugoslavia, greater Serbian Chetnik state, where Serbs, uh, together with people like Milan Kuchan, were doing their best to make us feel insecure, unstable, mm, hospitalize us, throw us into facilities for uh, children with uh, special needs, uh, simply get us killed as fast as possible. The so-called natural selection according to the greater Serbian Chetnik agenda went on. And so it was this Dr. Galatz was his name, I don't know, but I think he was a Serb. Uh, it doesn't finally it doesn't matter. And this individual had um, next to other physicians had um, searched for any kind of irregularity for anything that he could use uh, to create a profile on me that would match somebody who is simply degenerated somebody who is um, who is suffering from degeneration because what they wanted to portray me as was something like a Dawson syndrome uh, somebody who was degenerated who was um, uh, any kind of physical uh, irregularities that they would found on my profile uh, they could they could uh, they seek potential out of it um, I don't know it's uh, I think it's called flat feet uh, that was entered on my medical file uh, as well as um, a disproportional uh, jaws uh, that they compare them those to Neanderthals uh, this is what the Serbs, that's how it all started when I was a child, yes. They matched my facial characteristics to a monkey's, literally. Uh, matched them, uh, that's what they entered on my, on my uh, medical file here in Slovenia, in, in, in a government a medical file in Slovenia when I was a child. I was born on December 9 in 1971. Uh, so the Serbs with the Slovenian collaborators entered on my medical file. Physicians, doctors, they call them that, doctors, uh, entered that uh, my jaws, uh, like in particular this physician, this Galatz, um, but father had to take me to Ljubljana also, and they did all kinds of issues to apologize, to rationalize violence against me. Uh, he entered in a medical file that, um, as, you, as you look a profile, that uh, my uh, upper jaw is uh, moved forward and the lower jaw is lagging behind. I don't know what's the name of that medical condition. And they were using this to compare me with the monkeys. Uh, claiming I don't actually have any of that. This is what's interesting that I never had any of that. It, it grew up in the heads of the real schizophrenics that were running the Yugoslav, the Yugoslovenian, Yugoslav, Serbian, Greater Serbian and Slovenian ethnic cleansing agenda. Uh, how much of a presence is uh, still left of the original medical file, I do not know, because the physicians uh, that ran this file went on upon Slovenian independence to do the whole rewriting of the file. So if the original file exists out there, that stuff can be evident uh, that I don't know what kind of medical condition that that is that people suffer from when they have a jaw, uh, upper jaw uh, forward and the lower jaw inward, you know, uh, and this is what they have labeled me with. There was none of that kind of stuff evident. It became evident later. 
uh, by physicians that this was purely political insanity entered on my medical file when I was a child to rationalize, to apologize violence of Josip Broz Tito, which Slovenian Republic, Slo independent Republic of Slovenia, independent country of Slovenia, after 91 continued to exercise against me through the board Pahor, Milan Kuchan, Robert Golob. Uh, they continued to enforce uh, using Luis, Luisi, Luis Petrle, Dmitry Rupel, Anton Rop just became loud a few days ago. He bubbled something about uh, how difficult it was to enter the European Union and stuff. Uh, all these beautiful politicians that uh, came out of nowhere, Golobich and Tanya Fayon, all this, all this, uh, we are the world, the politicians from the West, from United States of America, uh, from the Israel, uh, Israel was a big supporter of this, British Royale, Royals and all this, they, they agree that, that this is the way basically that, you know, that it needed to be entered on my profile that uh, as a child as I was, was probably about five, six years old, that I fit the profile of the monkey. Uh, the facial characteristics that I am degenerate um, and uh, further went on to uh, suggest that my teeth which are now in a really bad shape I, I, I was really lazy about cleaning the teeth I admit lately I didn't do a good job uh, were not properly arranged, uh, that my teeth lack, uh, you know, like a proper, um, you know, sequences, sequencing, uh, went on to insist, uh, talking about Dr. Galatz, that it is necessary, in fact, to uh, pull uh, this, this tooth out, so that this two would uh, have enough space inside and it would properly form itself uh, the jaw the gum with the teeth you know and then i would not have a problems with it uh, while the upper the upper area of the teeth which is impossible to believe right was close to, was immaculate, was just 100% without the error. It was, the teeth were totally uh, even, just like you see it on this side here. Uh, and uh, for the purposes of the paranoid, the schizophrenia, because they wanted to rationalize that I'm mentally ill, because all this goes, the generation, mental illness, this is the stuff that goes uh, along. It goes together, these things. Uh, they, what they would do is they would use Nurse Yanko. This was not Dr. Galatz who did this, but it was uh, Dr. Galatz who would meet with Nurse Yanko, with a dentist that works at Home for Elderly People. It's a violent thug that would start. Uh, Germans would give him a job in the Germany and so on. They took care of him. All this stuff, you believe it or not, from Josip Broz Tito was taken over and placed on shoulders to, to, to earn a special extermination procedure, was thrown on the shoulders to continue the process uh, of denigration, of humiliation, of destitution by the British royals. And so he found jobs in Germany, no wonder, lucrative jobs, opportunities like this, and found himself in as early as in 1995, injecting my uh, jaws, gums, with, uh, with the substances that uh, even Germans provided for them.
this is what was interesting they did not even have this stuff here in Slovenia it was Germans that would give them uh, some sort of um, um, uh, you know um, it's not really tranquilizer it's not really a pain reliever only but it was two injections one was a pain reliever and then it was another one that was like some sort of anesthetic and then it was another one that makes uh, the tooth very soft and easy to pull out and so they would start to load me with injections in my jaws and uh, if i demonstrate to you what that looked like during mk ultra uh, he would go like this with uh, with uh, fingers grab my teeth and would start to um literally do let me demonstrate to you uh, to do the stuff like if these are the teeth like this i'm gonna do it uh gonna do this stuff like this no i'm gonna make the video about this stuff special video i'm gonna dedicate but i i want to demonstrate you what the schizophrenia is how it works Right, so now if these are the teeth, and these teeth are properly sequenced, they are in a proper uh, height, uh, everything, when you turn them like this, uh, they fit exactly the profile of the jaw, everything is perfect, yes. Uh, what he would start doing is literally, literally, and not, it didn't feel only, he started to do like this, with the teeth inside after they would give this type of uh, stuff and would start to twist them, curl them and also twist them like this, sideways, like that. Uh, and so my teeth, what would happen is they would... Um, um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I do understand this stuff. My teeth at one point in time when I would be returned to Miami because this shit went on for many years. Uh, sometimes in 2000, uh, in 99, in 2000, my teeth were like completely, completely, um, in 99, my teeth were completely sideways, totally sideways. It was totally, totally fucked up inside. For the, this shit went on, this condition persisted to me uh, for like two years like this. It already looked like that my teeth are totally lost and are not never going to be repaired again. And I don't know, under, I don't even understand how, I don't understand why. Uh, the teeth somehow, some way have found its way back uh have strained themselves up again i think it's got something to do with uh again playing uh they might have corrected them again or whatever whatever they were doing yes this is the stuff they were doing during mk ultra and then also in 2000 uh 2001 i don't know i did go to the physician in an ecuador because in united states of america just to pull the tooth uh, according to the physician scenario, it costed thousands of dollars, uh, like $500, just so that he could pull you a tooth out, that kind of stuff they were doing. Whatever you would call, I could possibly not afford myself a dentist for that kind of money. And I did go to the Ecuador, and unfortunately, my ex-wife took me to the dentist with whom they have made an arrangement. And that dentist went to repair my teeth where there was nothing to repair and have caused uh, total uh, destruction of my tooth. He caused uh, heavy damage of my tooth. This was individual who was involved in MK Ultra, who would meet with the Slovenian police in the city of Quito, of Ecuador. Slovenian police would travel there uh, with uh, American, with the Central Intelligence Agency. That's what they were doing. And it caused a massive damage to my teeth by drilling teeth deep. Uh, however, inserting what was known as a white plums. They were like a white plums. And those are the plums that I think he said they last you for your lifetime. That they never go bad. They never go apart. That once you do this, that teeth are 
been taken care of. I don't know about the plums, but my teeth have proven itself to be the strongest teeth, I think, in the world. I don't know if anybody ever had the teeth like this. And the thing about it is that uh, that did not, in Slovenia, when I was delivered back, uh, the only thing that happened is they continued to break the teeth, taking the plums out of the teeth and testing every two for which would be the most suitable for the poisoning. And then what they would do is they would, during MK Ultra, they would take the plums out and would use certain teeth for the poisoning. After the uh, procedure was done, they would plumb the teeth back uh, and off you would go uh, to do the stuff back to United States of America. Um, uh, this way, um, they have chosen one tooth uh, to become a permanent most suitable for uh, or, or its uh, root channel poisoning. And this is the tooth that you see right here. This is the two that I faced with either pulling one out in upon my return from United States of America for the first time to Slovenia in 2006 or suffer similar fate to the two they destroyed me as next. Um, I did pull the two out uh, on time and was even cursed for that matter. Uh, was told that this time I made it. However, the next time that I will not make it. Uh, they involved all the dentists from the city of the Novo Mesto, beginning the 95 all the way to Ljubljana, who were engaged in a death threats, direct death threats, suggesting that if I will ever dare to use their services, they're going to do something to me, including injected me with a poison cancer, that kind of stuff, uh, causing me damage on the teeth that I should not even think dare to come in their offices. Um, and uh, continue to poison uh, through the tooth infection uh, the procedure which they started in 1995. This was the tool that hold on all the poisoning till 2006, uh, went to the office uh, to get the two immediate pulled once I came back to Slovenia, as I was capable to afford myself. Uh, paid for that tooth, I don't know how much, to pull one out, uh, and uh, found myself uh, with uh, Nurse Janko, with the dentists, with the physicians here from General Hospital Novo Mesto, Milan Kuchan, Slovenian government, selecting another two to be psychiatrist cops, another two to be uh, uh, replaced, uh, and so they decided to vom this two here that you see in the back. The two was extremely tough despite the damage they have done, uh, despite even the drilling they have done, because the British royals requested from me to have from the police uh, upon the Olympic Games of the extermination procedure, genocide in 2017, uh, for the two to make it in a such a way so that when I would eat, literally would break off because uh, what they did was under the two, they make the two, uh, they infected the two, they infested the two with something bacterious uh, and uh, have awaited that during my lunch or whatever, the tooth is going to break off and the truth is going to fell out. This stuff was actually done uh, at the private clinic. It was a general hospital, Novo Mesto, that would work on these issues, uh, even supervise private dentists that they were involved in it. Uh, finally, it was done in 2019 in when hijacked from Poland to Slovenia by the private clinic here, physician who went on to drill to make it so thin uh, uh, the wall from the tooth, 
cover one up with a plumb. This is factual. I'm going to have the video about the teeth, but you got to understand what the schizophrenia is. Why all this stuff? What British royals, uh, Germans anticipated they would get out of this stuff? Uh, that finally the two in 2019 uh, did not want to broke. They were to fix it in a such a way so they were broke off. Did not want to break. Was delivered back here to this this people here. Let me demonstrate so that you will understand what the fuck this was. This was this was actually in a way this was done hilariously, hilariously disgusting, because it was just. Every time where they were trying to do bad stuff to me, and they did, but every time they tried to do bad stuff, it just didn't work for them. And the same thing was with the dentist. He is located in the Berlin area. So we have this um, it's called uh, Pushnik Novlian uh, Oculistica Optica it's also a dentist this one here uh, this is also uh, I, I have a special video in respect to these people uh, claimed that there are cameras and they are monitoring their work the process the, pr the procedure uh, literally in Belgrade that they're watching total schizophrenia they're engaged in a torture inside of their ordinance inside of their office but in return uh, they got uh, Swiss or German machines uh, like upgraded and newer machines for discounted price that otherwise they could not afford and as such remained like a top dentist in the area the one who paid for this shit literally were Germans and British they pay for this kind of stuff here is uh, for instance Angela Merkel I don't know if she's still posing with it she's still posing with it look at it you see look at it she's still posing with her teeth laughing smiling because uh, is to remind me that I told her that her teeth are not even uh, if you look at her teeth her teeth are actually somewhat uh, pulling like on the inside they're not even teeth and i told her this during mk ultra is this an excuse they provocate you they do the stuff like this they always look for something they encourage during mk ultra insulting anything and then they use those issues to break you the real teeth your teeth and for that matter, they do other stuff for torture. They destroy you, uh, kidneys, liver. They destroy your heart. They give you uh, tumors throughout the body. Uh, they're just doing, they're just using any kind of issue, searching for anything that you say, so that used and apologize, act insulted, and use and apologize and inflict real damage through MK Ultra. That's MK Ultra. That's how it works. But the schizophrenia part, which is used by Illuminatis to excuse this stuff, in my case, when it comes to the teeth, um, the tooth finally did broke the second time when they hijacked me from the Poland. One time I ate, and the only thing that happened was the tooth broke off, the wall broke off, uh, which still could be fixed. But I did go to this dentist who tortured during MK Ultra to rehearse me the torture. Uh, and because of her attempted to charge me, I don't know how much money was it for the two because it's all audio recorded. I refused to do that. I think that she said, um, I don't know what she said during MK Ultra. Uh, she was the one who broke the teeth. She was the one who did this stuff. And uh, I felt insulted during procedure during my checking upon return from poland because this is the dentist that my parents use and other dentists were simply not available uh, she suggested that uh, it would be i don't know how much to repair the tooth i was determined however instead to hold on to it get myself a job and stuff like that 
uh, and it's a police that controls the jobs. So they blacklist you, uh, keep you jobless, uh, even with job search was substituted with a car search, uh, numerous plots that psychiatry uh, engineered together with the car owners, uh, time wasted, uh, and you stay without uh, the tooth and without the job and without absolutely everything, uh, destituted, insulted, humiliated uh, in your own world, poisoned, uh, and you fight for survival from day to day, basically. This is the way it goes. Aggravated and watch, basically, British tabloids depicting British royals, how they are laughing and wearing the dark black glasses, even if you go to this uh, psychiatrists from Ljubljana Polje, which presented all the psychiatrists from Ljubljana Polje inserted in MK Ultra, uh, their wives, their children, and opened themselves up on their Facebook pages, suggested that I should comment in their profile, on their pages. Bullied, harassed, tortured, intimidated, post with the glasses, with the dark glasses, laughing at you, and demanded if you dare to post them a comment and stuff like this in their Facebook profile pages. This is the way they were doing. Uh, this is what went on all along during MKUltra, yes? Um, this is uh, a lot of information, really painful information, I have to admit. And um, sometimes I get lost in this, in this, uh, ocean of pain, uh, destituted, demoralized, depressed, but not depressed enough to give up from it, despite earning no video views, not a single cent for my work, uh, no chance whatsoever. I continue to do my work without teeth, poisoned, uh, infested with uh, food issues, uh, which psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was the one that was the one playing with the food inside of the house by using my mother income. Insulted, spit upon, uh, disallowed to go food purchasing, only used to go food purchasing enough for the police to document that I was at the store here. From the beginning, it was randomly uh, once I started to find myself in what food, what not to eat, cut away from, so it didn't make any fucking sense anymore to look even what you eat. Because it was harassment, harassment, harassment on top of harassment, no matter what the fuck you would do. This is the way this stuff was done. It was just, it was, it was play with the taste, it was play with the stuff they suggest it's going to be done during MKUltra, and you're at the age, I'm now age 52, uh, which you're going to see what it takes to get to the police station to file the complaint. How it is when, look, they operate in exactly the same fashion as any kind of sexual pedophilia ring or something like this. If you heard about this mafia, gangster, uh, human trafficking people, let's say to Israel when they stole women, and those women would, uh, or uh, I don't know, to Germany or whatever place, and they would go, the, the, the ladies would go and try to find police. And it always came out that the people that they went on to complain to, it just happened so they were also gangsters, if not gangsters, they were police officers who would return them back to the pimps to simply break down. Uh, there is silence, the fight against oppression. It's not oppression, it's more than that. You know what I mean? Use them till they would no longer be useful. Kill them, either kill them or return them completely annihilated, destroyed, back to their countries, to rotten and pain and in vain, like Joe Biden have stated, is going to be the case with me. 
This is exactly what Novo Mesto police, what exactly what Slovenian police is doing, harassing on every step I make, wherever the hell I make one, they stalk, they, I'm going to demonstrate you, they go and they, uh, or, or since you're watching this, I might have already demonstrated you this, uh, make access to the police station impossible by actually using police officers that were involved in MKUltra, who, who engaged in a torture procedure during what would be your filing for the police procedure. So still they would steal you and make you talk into camera, complain about it, tell more stories about it, which you can never finish really in my ears, in my, in my case, because this shit went on for 51 years. In the, in the case of the thief, the paranoid schizophrenia was restricted to the lower jaw and the upper jaw. The lower jaw was documented. That everything was okay with it, just like you see it, with exception of this tool. Since I was small, and it's why I stated, nobody did nothing to that tool. However, the upper section, I have no idea what the fuck the Serbs, the Slovenian, uh, Yugo Serbs, Slovenian here from Ljubljana, I don't know, Novo Mesto, I don't know what they, the Slovenian police, what they, what they forged inside of the medical file, uh, which was completely, completely perfect, without what you see here, was totally destroyed, so it looks like this. Look. You see, you see what this is? This um, this was done in 2019, 2020. Again, they went ahead. They swear that Robert Golob, Prime Minister Robert Golob, swear you're not gonna have the whole teeth. You're not gonna have it. We will fix it for you. You're not gonna have it. Okay, so now if you would go and make a statement, if you would go and make a statement, this is a paranoid schizophrenia. If you would go and make a statement that it was this and this that police play with and destroy both upper and lower jaw, it would be a paranoid schizophrenia. Because it's proven, because it's proven through the records that this here, there was no faulty play. A lower jaw was no faulty play. You understand me what I'm saying? Even if they claim me, they continue to brainwash me. They did this here too. And they did. They did play with a lower jaw too. When I said about the injections on how they injected the stuff and they were doing with the teeth like this. They did. Both upper and lower jaw during MK Ultra was totally fucked up. So fucked up that when I, my parents, when they saw that stuff, their hair went up when people saw what they did to me. They could not fucking believe what the fuck went on. They could not believe what the fuck went on. But the thing about it is they also made sure, just like I suggested you for the upper jaw, they have done even, that they strain it up and it was completely perfect again. You understand me what I'm saying? So now if you go and you make a statement that it was also the lower jaw they have done this to, you don't even have the proof for the upper jaw that this was done to because the lower jaw is exactly accordingly done to my dossier they have created um, throughout the childhood and throughout the adulthood. This is a paranoid schizophrenia. This is a how paranoid schizophrenia becomes proven medically through the dental care. So if you think I am lying to you about the teeth, you as a dentist, as a police officer, as an investigator, you do understand now that my words to you are facts. Slovenian police spared nothing, not teeth, not spine, created tumorous infections throughout my body, played with a cancer, with a lymphoma, and have even severe heart section area in the process.
kidneys, liver, and so on. This is not a joke. The main thing the British royals have used, and this is the proof about this type of procedure, that applies absolutely, absolutely in everything that was done throughout my case. It applied absolutely. It applies to absolutely everything. Every item that they inserted in MK Ultra, including the purchases through AliExpress and so on, they always made it in a such a way so that it would look like, you know, that could be proven the opposite wrong. But this was, this I was told this was the biggest proof I have, actually. Uh, I just did not understood how. Today, however, it became evident to me through everything, the way I witnessed, the way it was done, it was always done in a such a way so that you would make complaint. And that complaint was always done in a such a way that could be easily refuted by the police, despite actual violence that would take place. So they destroy me all the teeth. They destroy you the health so they can help fucking prove their existence of the paranoid schizophrenia. This is how that works. See? And you have a politicians, yeah? and they're going to be laughing in your face. They did. You have British royals who pose, laugh, uh, talk about the mental health, about the mental sickness, and hiding behind the mask. Uh, well, you're going to be just as they sing me in my face, trying to stay alive, basically. Staying alive song was very popular during MKUltra. It was staying alive that was very popular during MK Ultra, and it was uh, yesterday. Yesterday was the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and British King Charles and Prince William and Prince Harry. They sing, Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. And they were implying on the psychiatry because tomorrow it's going to be a psychiatry. This is, this is, this is the paranoid, this is how paranoid schizophrenia works, just so you know.